G'day ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everyone in between. Welcome to howtoplaythesax.com, where we are all about having fun, playing saxophone, being awesome, and repeating. My name is Matthew, and in today's quick lesson, I thought we would talk about cork grease. Cork grease. Cork grease. Why on earth do you need cork grease? Why are we talking about cork grease when we're talking about saxophones. Well, cork grease is kind of like, on your saxophone, you have a neck. Here is my tenor saxophone neck. Here is my alto saxophone neck. The saxophone neck has a piece of cork around the edge, around, around the end here. The cork grips the mouthpiece. The cork grips the mouthpiece. So when you put the mouthpiece on, the cork kind of holds it in the right place. However, cork can get dry. When it's dry, what that means is that the mouthpiece does not slip on properly and it's really hard to push it on. And what that means, I've mentioned in previous, previous lessons, previous videos, when you hold your neck, you need to hold the neck sort of like a pistol. You do not put any pressure on this little piece here. This little, this little piece here pivots the register key pivots the octave key pivots this little guy here and if you put pressure on this it can break off and that's expensive so again holding your neck like a pistol when you are putting on your mouthpiece sometimes the cork can get very dry it can get very tough and it's really hard to put your mouthpiece on so you kind of got to twist it and twist it backwards and forwards and get it in the right spot but cork grease Here's one, here's one. This is, I'm not recommending any particular brand or make or, or anything. This happens to be Rico, the same as the, um, same as the reeds, but you might be able to see there, it says cork grease on it. You can get them, they're like a little lip, lip chap stuff. Don't put it on your lips. You can get it in a little pot, sort of round that big and you unscrew the lid and put your finger in. But cork grease is like moisturizer for the cork, just like you do with your lips. So cork grease, what you need to do is just a tiny little bit, you take the lid off and this one's like a chapstick, just screw it up like a lipstick and what we do is on our, carefully holding this again, not putting pressure on there, with our cork grease, we just put a little bit on the top, not on the bottom here of the cork, just does that focus, you put a little bit on the top here and you just carefully rub it on like you, like you would do with your lips. Rub it on just around, all the way around, maybe halfway down the cork, just a little bit because you don't put it all over the cork because when you put the mouthpiece on, that squishes the, what you put on, squishes it down. So we've just put a, just put a little bit on, rub it on, not hard, rub it on, screw it back, screw your thing back down again, put the lid back on. And then with your mouthpiece, you get your mouthpiece and very carefully you put it on and that makes it just a little bit more slippery and you twist it backwards and forwards and then carefully pull it off again. And that leaves a little bit of cork grease around the edge of your mouthpiece. So it might be a good idea to sort of wipe that on the cork, maybe use your finger, get, get wipe it off, use your finger, put it on and what that does is makes it easier for you to put your mouthpiece on and off, twisting backwards and forwards. Again, not putting pressure on this little pivot, being careful, twist it backwards and forwards a little bit. And what that does is that moisturizes the cork, makes it easier for the mouthpiece to come on and off, makes it easier for you to put it in the right place. It looks after the cork and it looks after your saxophone and everybody's happy. And that's what we're all about, being happy having fun, playing saxophone, being awesome, and repeating. Go out and get yourself some cork grease if you do not have any already. It's only a couple of dollars, it's not, it's not expensive, but to replace the cork on your saxophone will cost, here in Australia, it costs about $50 to do one, so it's not a cheap little exercise. You don't want to do it very often, but if you put some cork grease on, like I say, they're like a little chapstick, don't put chapstick on it, but it's special cork grease. You get it at any music shop. You can get it online. Your local music shop, a couple of dollars, get yourself some and just put it in your saxophone case. 
it looks after the cork, which in turn makes it easier to put your mouthpiece on, which in turn makes it easier to play, which in turn makes it easier to have fun, play saxophone, be awesome, and repeat. Thank you for watching. My name is Matthew once again. I'm honored that you're spending a bit of your saxophone journey with me. Thank you. I will see you in the next video, the next lesson at howtoplaythesax.com. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.